Guys, it's Unders. In today's Logic Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to comp tracks. This is really useful when you've got multiple takes of, say, a vocalist and you want to take one part from one section, another from another. You can very easily comp those into one consistent track. It's dead simple to do inside Logic. Let's get into that. Say my name out loud. Hello, guys. So here we are again in Logic. Now, if these videos are helpful for you, please bash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got any questions or other videos you would like to see, comment down below. So what we're going to do is look at track stacks and vocal comping inside Logic. Now what we have in front of us here is a track stack piece of audio. If we double click, we'll see it combines back into this one singular piece. Now. It doesn't appear any different as a track. The way to identify it are the symbols we have up here on the right hand side, specifically the one just here. That identifies that there are multiple pieces of audio combining to make this one audio track. You can also see there are some edits here where it cuts off at different periods. Now, if you double click, it will show you those pieces of audio contained to create what we have. And I've just looped a thing here. By the way, this is just some audio taken out of a project, so there's loads of offtakes and things in here, but it's just to demonstrate to you guys what we can do with it. So this is what we have. Now, whatever piece of audio we select here will be the one that we are listening to. So if I select this, here we see that the display at the top changes and that's always the piece of audio that we listen back to. So what becomes important here is that we can select different parts and you'll see where I've just clicked and dragged and highlighted that we've now got a different section introduced here. Now let's say I prefer this much quieter looking intro here we are then able to comp that. So to get different pieces selected, what we can do, we have this little icon here that shows up with like two split bars. And let's, for example, we're listening to this piece and we particularly like this area here. We like that more than we like this. Yeah, you know, this bit of the take, great, but this bit not so great, but we like it in this one. We get this little tool up here and you get that by being on the top portion of the audio and you just click and drag. You'll see at the top now it's introduced that piece of audio from these two tracks combined and it's done the very rapid crossfades. So we can now listen back and we have this. Next track. And back to the original. If we're happy with that, we double click here and that confirms that selection for us. Now let's say we listen to this and we'll see this piece of audio has changed and this piece of audio up here has remained. And we've now got the quieter intro. And we really like that bit. So we're just going to take that section as well. Now you see that we've selected that piece, but the original piece of audio at the top has now dragged back over and we didn't like that bit we liked this bit so we need to separate these again we're going to do that just here and we're now going from this track to this track to this track and to this track and we're combining those four pieces into one and now if we click this little arrow here, we combine that and that is now our new audio track. We've combined those different takes that we had in different recordings to make that one particular part. And you know, perhaps just here there is no breath, but just here we like this particular part. We can be very precise in what we take out. We can introduce that just tiny piece here. And that, guys, 
is how we use a track stack. So when we've recorded multiple vocal takes and we want to comp the best parts of each take into one track, that's how we do it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I will see you on the next one. <laughs>